Hello Sagittarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling, personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. I do have... Uh, one hour Zoom readings on sale for $55 and everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. All right, my loves. Sagittarius, the next love coming towards you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. The Five of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. And that's their general overall energy. We've got two fives here. I do see fives in the tarot as typically... Um, they can be very challenging energies, obstacles, things that need to be overcame. They can just be a little bit difficult. Now with the three energy, especially this Empress, to me this feels like somebody is... I don't want to say that they have you up on a pedestal right now, Sagittarius, but I definitely feel like somebody is either like romanticizing you a little bit. But they're just... I think they think very highly of you, okay? And it's like right now, for whatever reason, it feels like they're only able to see or remember the good things about you, okay? They're just really thinking back about you, back on the connection, and all of these uh, very good, positive quality qualities are coming to the surface, okay? And I'm not saying that I'm romanticizing that those aren't true and valid qualities. I just mean that in the way that I feel like that's all they're thinking about is the positive things, okay? So somebody is definitely thinking very highly of you. They're thinking about you in this very kind of uh, positive, like angelic kind of light at this time, okay? And I do feel like there's something triggering that. We have this Ten of Pentacles here. So and if we have this Five of Swords, Five of Wands. I definitely feel like you guys could have had a falling out with a person here. Now, for some of you guys, it could have been one big falling out where things just kind of went too far, things escalated too far, and you guys kind of had a falling out because of that. Um, for others of you, it could have been more than, you know, just one thing, but I do feel like there was at least a big fight here, okay, or, you know, a big conflict here that you guys were, you know, in with this person. Now, so a door shut and it's, that startled me, so if you guys see me jump, that's why. Now, with this Five of Swords energy, Five of Swords sometimes to me can be a card of reassessment, and that's what I feel here. I feel like this person is kind of looking back over at their past choices and reassessing them, kind of asking themselves, like, was it really worth it? Did I really make the right choice? Is that the way I should have handled that situation? Did it really work out the way that I wanted it to? Because I feel like, especially for those of you where there was a conflict here, I feel like somebody kind of could have ended things or walked away from things or they fall over something that just wasn't. Now they're looking back and kind of like, man, it just really wasn't worth it. It really wasn't worth what I lost, you know? Um, and I feel that here with this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles to me can be a card of what we value the most. So things that are the most important to us. Uh, and I, it's also like what we want, you know, that dream life, that all of that. It's everything that we want and the things are the most that mean the most to us. And I feel like somebody has seen how much of that they already had with you, okay? How much of like a person and a character and you know, the connection, just to how much of that was this Ten of Pentacles and how they kind of threw it away over something that wasn't necessarily worth it, okay? How they kind of regretting some of their decisions here. So that's where I feel like this person is at. So I definitely feel like this next love that's coming towards you is a past person. Now let's kind of see where you're at with this or where you will be at with this. Your energy towards them. We have a Seven of Wands. The Ten of Cups. And the king of cups 
Some of you guys could have had a family with this person or you planned to, you wanted to at one point because you have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups. Both can be a card of family. I do feel like there is a part of you that kind of can't help but still love this person. You know, I do. Regardless of what a person does, even if they hurt us, you know, it doesn't, if you truly love them, it doesn't just I mean you don't just stop loving them okay now that doesn't say that you never do but i just feel like here the love is still very apparent okay you have that king of cups energy you still have a lot of love for this person despite what's happened here that doesn't necessarily mean that you want them back in um they get the seven of wands here the seven of wands is a card of conviction it can be a card of standing your ground not settling not tolerating anything um, it can be a card of being very guarded, having your guard up high. And I do feel like that could be the case here. Or even though somebody is coming in and it's like, man, I still really love this person. The love is definitely still here. I feel like you are, you know, very guarded. I feel like you are, could be setting some pretty high boundaries. Some of you guys, maybe you are willing to allow this person back in and it's just going to be on your terms. You're just choosing not to settle for certain things. For others of you, I'm not so sure. We're going to take a look and see what your advice is. You have the Ace of Cups and the Hermit. So I definitely feel like regardless, I feel like Spirit is just asking you to take your time to really reflect on the situation and try to see it from the highest perspective as well as really look within. I would not respond right away. I'm not saying don't respond right away. Let me rephrase that. I wouldn't make a decision right away, okay? Because with this Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups can be a, be a card of emotions overflowing. I do. I feel like this is because of the depth of the love that is here and whatever's happened between the two of you. I definitely feel like emotions are going to be overflowing. Um, it's going to just be a very emotional kind of triggering. A lot is going to come up and I feel like Spirit is wanting to to prepare you for that but also let you know that maybe in that space is not the best time to make these big decisions so spirit is not telling you one way or another i think only you guys get to decide what's best for you but i do feel like spirit's asking you to take your time and to really you know look at this from the best perspective here signs i'm seeing for you guys you have taurus and libra virgo aquarius leo pisces scorpio cancer and more Virgo. So those are the signs that I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading, but I do hope that this helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.